what do we know about this guy anyway? Is he into something strange? It's not like he's gonna want you to suck his dick or fuck his wife or watch you watch him fuck his wife. I wouldn't think so. Welcome to Mallorca, Mr. Cage. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Is Javi gonna want me to, uh... Play him, Javi. Nick Cage. I just want to start with a hard-hitting question, though. Do you <clears throat> agree with Javi about Paddington 2? I do. I do. Yeah. That was Good. the only homework that I had to do for the movie, was watch <laughs> Paddington 2. And cool. I must agree, I understand why it's in there. Perfect. That, that makes me happy to hear because it's generally one of my favourites. Um, and when it comes to this kind of film, is it so weird and surreal to be acting opposite Nicolas Cage while he's playing Nicolas Cage? Like, uh, you must blur between reality and film there. I feel, I feel it would have been surreal enough to just be in a movie with Nicolas Cage and for him to be your scene partner as it felt that first day of shooting. Um, and, and as far as the meta aspect of the movie and him playing him, him himself, ironically, I would say that there's a chance that the character of Javi is, of course, without the billions of dollars and, 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 and criminal family organization, that the, the, the super fan that Javi is is a lot closer to me than maybe the Nick Cage of this movie is to the Nicolas Cage that played him. Um, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. If that are you basically, yeah, are you admitting to having like a Nicolas Cage prop room in your home? Is that basically what I, you're saying? I, to? I, I, I mean, <laughs> close enough. Yeah, basically. But it's understandable. Um, Javi and Nick in this film have such a wonderful web friendship as well. Like the shoe scene is delightful. Like th just everything about it is so wholesome. Um, was it easy to create that chemistry with Nick, with Nicholas, um, to create that on-screen bond? I, it, it, it was easy. It, it, you know, um, it was an easy assignment overall. Um, I, 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 I genuinely love so many of his performances. So many of his performances are some of my favorite performances. And um, they're, they're, they're in my system and have such great influence over um, the love that I developed for acting and the desire that I had to be in the industry. Hmm. And, um, and so there really wasn't, you know, it, it, yeah, it, it's one of the easiest assignments I've, I've I've ever had it. It really is kind of like closer to the kind of per person people keep on saying. Oh, you know, we haven't seen you do comedy before, and and um, and uh, uh, weirdly, this is more of myself than so many other things that I may be known for. Mm. Obviously, as as it sounds like you're a Nicolas Cage fanboy, does Oscar Isaac have to start worrying that maybe you'll hang out a bit more with Nicolas in real life than Oscar? <laughs> Oh, he's that that he's he should be shaking in his little boots. Is there um is there a particular moment that stands out for you from this film? Is it just literally hanging out with Nicolas Cage or some of the more action scenes? Because obviously you're more used to that. But as you say, the comedy is what you like doing and what you stretched out for. There isn't a lot that he and I do together in the scene, but I remember being out on the Adriatic Sea on a speedboat at sunset with Nicolas Cage, which. <laughs> goes down uh, in history for me as uh, one of the more, more beautiful days on at work. The thing that surprised me about the film as well, it's much more um, emotional. It's quite poignant about um, not just Nick Cage, but about family and like, you know, that kind of aspect of the film. Where you, do you get that as well? Are you hoping fans get from that? Or is it more about the meta aspect for you? No, actually, that's what I find fascinating about the movie um, uh, is that the, the 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 meta aspect of it um, kind of becomes secondary to the relationships that are in the movie, the relationships that he has to his family, and and the friendship that develops between his character and mine. Um, yeah. And and I think that that's the more kind of anchoring and true thing, which I credit uh, Tom Gormick and, and Kevin Atten, who 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 wrote such a. And it's also it's also a, a real love letter to movies, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, the experience of it, uh, the, there's almost a nostalgic quality to it that, that just kind of reminds you how much fun you can have at the movies. As you say, there's also that meta aspect of the film of like they're talking about films and there's a lot of talk about like films like this don't get made now. They don't come to cinema, these kind of mid-range adult orientated films. Considering you've worked on something like The Mandalorian in the big Star Wars world, does it feel 
different when you're making a film like this. It does feel different. And then seeing it, of course, I feel like I, I, I've been so lucky to be a part of um, uh, streaming sh shows that have uh, uh, sort of uh, laid out the territory for um, uh, uh, streaming content or, or, <laughs> or, 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 or cable television content. Um, and but what I grew up watching was movies like this. And um, so being in one, seeing the trailer for something like this, or being in a movie theater uh, full of people laughing uh, at a comedy like this, it, it's, it's been um, very special to say the least. Mm -hmm.